In 2015, Mary Jo and Shane Dunn lost their only child, Luke, to a rare cancer at 17 months old. The Dunns decided to try for another child through in vitro fertilization. But after two years, six egg retrievals, and $70,000, their hopes of a child came down to two remaining embryos that most clinics would not have implanted. Because scientifically, they weren't perfect. Right. And then the end result is those are the two that... that uh, Were perfect. Yeah. yeah. That led to normal twin girls, Riley and Kelsey. The embryo testing the Duns opted for is called PGS, pre-implantation genetic screening. It takes a biopsy of a few cells from the embryo to determine if it is chromosomally healthy. It's been classified as normal or abnormal. Recent advances in this screening make it possible to detect when an embryo has a mix of normal and abnormal cells, called mosaic embryos. Hi, pretty girl. The twins grew from mosaic embryos. Doctors believe in some cases those abnormal cells can self-correct or be expelled from the embryo, but it's impossible to know if that will actually happen in any given embryo. You could miscarry, you could have a child with birth defects, or you could have a perfectly healthy baby. Mosaic embryos do carry a higher risk of failure to implant and of miscarriage. Although according to one study, the higher the number of chromosomally abnormal cells in a mosaic embryo, the lower the birth rate. Whether to transfer mosaic embryos using IVF is spurring debate among fertility experts. We have to learn which ones are more likely to make the baby and which ones are less likely. Ethicists also question whether infertile couples desperate to have a baby can fully appreciate the risk that a mosaic embryo could produce a baby with significant birth defects. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.